This is absolutely insane. The Bud Light boycott is actually working. Bud Light sales outside of restaurants and bars are down 26.1% for the week. Ending in April Ending in April 22nd, compared to the previous year, sales were down 21.1% for the week prior to that. Volumes are down 8% for the year. Coors Light and Miller Light are picking up in picking up the slack as their volume was up 13.3% and 13.6% for the same time frame. Go woke, go broke. Now watch this video, guys. So this is working. All right, we're well, looking. Look. Anheuser Busch. Oh my God. Anheuser Busch. Anheuser Busch. Oh, that's course light. Yeah, not Anheuser Busch. <laughs> and that. Oh my God. Yep. Well, here it is. <laughs> so this is working. All right. I'm going to play it one more time just so you guys can see it, okay? Anheuser-Busch. Oh, my God. Anheuser-Busch. Anheuser-Busch. Oh, that's Coors Light. Yeah, not Anheuser-Busch. <laughs> and that. Oh, my God. Yep. Well, here it is. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> oh, sorry. So look, check this out. This whole Bud Light controversy, it feels like it's been getting dragged out for a long time, right? In actuality, it's only been a couple weeks. Um, now, with this whole Dylan Mulvaney situation, I feel like that was the straw that broke the camel's back, okay? I feel like this is not that big of a deal, but this is the thing that definitely did it for everyone across America, okay? Now, a lot of people are trying to sit here and tell me that it's not that big of a deal. And although I do agree, I do agree that it's not that big of a deal because I'm not a, a an alcohol consumer, I say that. But there are some people who literally hold beer up top amongst a priority in their life, such as family, wife, and kids. Let's just be honest. Some people do hold their beer very highly. Um, now, I've said this from the jump. <laughs> okay? Bud Light is a frat boy, middle America, middle-aged man drink. Okay? If there's one thing... That the frat boys, middle America, middle aged men don't rock with. It's the LGBTQ community. Okay. I would say the frat boys more so are accepting of it. But let's be honest, guys. Let's just be very, very, very transparent with each other. The middle aged American men are not rocking with that. They're not. And that's fine. That's them. That's their view. That's what they got. That's what they rock with. That's how they came up. Let them be. They fired the vice president of marketing who was responsible for letting Dylan Mulvaney be this, not the face, but the sponsorship for that um, time for Bud Light. They let her go. Um... I believe they also let one other person go who was responsible for the whole thing, um, the whole fiasco. And they are trying to act like it never happened. They're trying, they, they dropped a video on YouTube and they proceeded to turn the comments off. And now this is just adding more fuel to the flame. It's pouring the gasoline on the fire and people are having a whole field day with all of this because they just want to come after Anheuser Bush, Bud Light, whatever you want to call them, they just want to come after them even harder because they see that they're trying to turn comments off. So what are they going to do? They're going to make a fuck ton of videos about Anheuser Bush turning the comments off. I truly feel like this wasn't the massive, big old deal that people are making it, but what it is is the straw that broke the camel's back. This was enough. There's been so much stuff going on where people have had to just sit quiet and accept it and take it and take it and take it. And this was the one that was enough. 
It overflowed the cup. This was the cherry on top. And people are saying no more. Um, so what I see coming from this is a big divide in America. There's, there's going to be the people who are afraid to speak up. Those people are going to have to speak up. Okay, They're going to have to pick a side. Because it's going to divide itself into two sides. It's going to divide itself into, I guess you could say, quote unquote, woke culture who, you know, basically the whole LGBTQ community, all the trans stuff, all of that on one side. And then everybody who does not agree with it on the other. Now, go back and watch all my videos on YouTube about this topic. You will see what side I land on. OK, I'm not going to say it here. One thing I am going to say is that I feel like I've been a lead advocate for leave the children out of it. And it seems like they want to include the children in all this new propaganda bullshit. I'm not rocking with it. I'm not. I'll be the first to say it. Um, That's what I feel like it's coming to. And I feel like big corporations should not be playing in, in, in shallow waters. They should not be trying to dive into shallow waters. And I feel like that's what Anheuser-Busch, a.k.a. Bud Light, decided to do in this situation. Look, man, know your fucking audience because your audience is not rocking with this transgender stuff. Let's just be real. Let's be real. OK. If my audience was a bunch of crackheads, I'm not going to try to sell them rehab scripts. <laughs> I'm not. I'm going to sell them crack. <laughs> OK. I'm sorry for the poor analogy, but it's just the truth. Look, man. I genuinely think Anheuser Bush, aka Bud Light, is gonna bounce back. But you know what they're never gonna do again? They're gonna try to stray as far away from anything to do with this matter for the rest of the company's existence. <laughs> Cause they're not gonna risk it. They're not going to do that again. Why would they? You saw what almost happened last time. You know what I'm talking about? So, yeah, man. I would say my best advice to Anheuser Bush Bud Light is try to act like this never happened and never do this shit again. But the the people, you're going to hear from the people for a little bit longer. I feel like this whole thing is going to keep going on for another month or two. Come summertime, everybody's going to need a cold brew is going to be okay.